Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel, Ingrid Advice. This is going to be an Aries reading for um, June 2022. Uh, I am in the process of moving. That's kind of why I've been MIA. But um, anyways, of course, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not going to be every single person's story. Take what's yours and the rest alone. Also, feel free to talk around the energy. I feel like you guys are, uh, I mean, I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. As I say, I feel like you guys are doing a lot of clearing up um, things in your life for the things that, that way, to make room for the things that you do want. Um, but okay, so <clears throat> Aries, June 2022, one last shuffle. So it's looking like um, someone could be moving in with you. You guys could be getting a new home. Um, and it's just you guys are living your best life. Some of you guys are moving, traveling, going on vacation, uh, just going with the flow. It could also be someone's wanting to move back in. But with time for a nap, I feel like you're not really um, contributing to it. Like, this is all them. Um, I feel like you're just kind of relaxing, like, um, yeah, truth be told, and accepting things for how they are. And you could feel like it's always a constant battle with this person where they're always trying to play mind games with you. Um, you know, they always try to play games and you're here just like, can we work together or not? Um, I feel like, yes, this is part of your blessing, but it's part of their own feelings, like the way that they feel as to why they feel like they have to play mind games. Uh, but I feel like they're starting to accept that this is a blessing, not a serpentipity, not for you. And they're going to start, stop playing games. Why the fates tick tock? You know, and this could be like a person, um, a family member a friend you know where it's like they're always trying to play mind games with you um and you're here like i just want us to have a new dynamic see new life soulmates time to go you just want to leave all that behind and be at peace you know so it's like this person might be by might be kind of like stuck at how things used to be you know like it's because sometimes people get used to toxic you get me and, and that might be kind of where this person's at like they're used to toxic they want to be back and forth and um you've changed the death card you, you just changed you're not trying to do that um let's see i mean hopefully we can uh, get some advice to get them to not be toxic so aries for june 2022 because nonetheless i feel like you're having people work with you but there's some sort of pattern with this person with games wanting to play games you know it's like all of a sudden they stop texting you back they leave you wondering and it's like you're here like i thought we were going somewhere like what's going on so aries for june 2022 on last shuffle yeah i feel like this person is still getting over um they're still transforming see five of cups there i feel like they still have a lot of regrets um you know you could be a very loving person and that tends to make this person like like one minute they're full force with it the next minute it's like they have to take a step back and i feel like you're here you're manifesting you know you're bringing in um people that are going to be messaging you um and this could come as a surprise to you because you're here nine of pentacles just doing you page of pentacles and here they come uh the hanged man the queen of swords but i feel like they're they feel stuck and it's like with that queen of swords you're gonna have to be kind of blunt and straight up not really caring about how they feel but you're just gonna have to be honest you know be that speak that truth see page of one seven of swords because i feel like these people um they want to make things right but they're going about it the wrong way, like totally wrong approach. It's like instead of being like, um, uh, hey, how are you? You know, I just want to say sorry for the past or whatever. I hope we can move past it. You know, uh, see seven of cups, five of pentacles. They're coming in from a place of lack where it's kind of like, um, um, like, I, I don't know, send you a, uh, like send you a typo by accident. And they're like, oh, sorry, wrong person. And it's like, why don't you just tell me like, Hey, how have you been? You know, been thinking about you. You crossed my mind today. You know, like, what's the big deal? You know, but for some reason, this person, you know, they can't do that. They just can't. And so, um, you know, they've been doing a lot of work on themselves, but they still have that lack mindset where they get confused. I feel like you're, you're this person who's very straightforward, and that kind of confuses them a little bit. Like, they don't know how to take that, you know? Um... But and I feel like you're completely aligned in mind, body, and spirit. You could be dealing with the Libra, but here are these people that are gonna be coming in to fix things with you. You know, it's like um and you might have to change the way that you do things yourself. Like again, you're just used to responding, like, Oh yeah, sure, we can hang out later, no big deal. Or like, Oh, it's okay that, that was a typo. How have you been? You know, and maybe just kinda not reply or kind of be like, LOL, 
I mean, you know, like, uh, or you're, you must be kidding, right? Like, <laughs> if you want to message me, just say that. You don't got to lie about it. You know, something like that even. Um, what's the tower with the justice card? Or just clarify, any clarifiers for Aries for June. See the death card? These are people that they've changed, yes, but the way they're coming in is like, come on. It's just, it's ridiculous. See, Ace of Pentacles. Like, they want another chance, you know, Three of Swords, but they're hurt. So it's like they're afraid to be rejected. So they just can't, they feel like they can't come in and be blunt. Uh, it could be a Scorpio. What's the Page of Wands, the Justice, and the Tower with the Seven of Swords? One more card for Aries. Thank you so much. Yeah, and you could be holding back, you know, um, it, you know, you should probably hold back. Yes, actually is what it's saying. And and take it day by day because honestly, like, how do you prevent something toxic from happening? You just go really, really, really slow. You know? Because then, like, all those little tricks and stuff that they would normally use, go like, mm, they can't use them as tools against you anymore. You know? Because it's not able to, you know, because what starts fast ends fast, kind of, too. Um, what's the Nine of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles? Make a flat of the deck. Aries. June, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's like they're working on being able to be honest with you, but with the Empress, it wanted to come out upside down. This person could kind of have a mental illness, and, like, it doesn't mean, like, bipolar or, like, multi-personality disorder, emotionally unstable, you know, because in, in the end, those are all just labels. Like, even bipolar, that's just someone that's in tune with their emotions, you know, so those labels just kind of, like, Mm, kind of make a make people feel some type of way you know what i'm saying because that's how i see it you know bipolar and stuff like that it's like well huh, they're very in tune with their emotions uh, like you know uh but I, I mean like the empress here um upside down like that mental illness where they feel like they have to lie and manipulate just because they're in this place of lack you know why they have to come in on this low vibration instead of coming in pure unconditionally loving like you know, whether they reject me or not, I'm still going to care about them. You know, um, what's the uh, seven? I was going to say the Empress, but with the seven of pentacles, they want to spend time and money on this. There's lots of pentacles here. So I feel like this could start off like business partners, too. This could even be co-workers or there could be a lot of money tied into this here. Like you guys are missing each other, but you guys used to um, spend money together, give each other money. Spend a lot of time together. Time is money, too. Any other messages for Aries, for June? What else can they be expecting? You see four of pentacles, two of cups. You could be holding back. You know, you don't really want to spend time or money with them. Or it's like this person is holding back from you. Any other messages? Aries, June 2022. King of Swords. See, it's like on a, like there's gonna be a conversation here but someone's hurt the hermit sideways could be a virgo uh page of cups on the three of pentacles you know someone may be needing to work on apologizing for some of you guys they will apologize others of you guys it's like they're working on being able to come from the heart they're working on uh apologizing and with this new life here i feel like you know this person um they want something brand new with you i was supposed to use this one also uh but you know they're working on I'm coming in from the heart, being vulnerable, you know, being pure, not really caring how, how you say about how they feel, you know, just speaking, being honest. Um, you know, there's still some pain associated here that they're still getting over. And that could be why they're wanting to come in on this manipulation. See, six of wands with the four of cups upside down. Um, this could be throwing you off balance when this person comes in or it's like they're kind of off balance. Um, trying to open up, you know, being vulnerable and stuff throws them off balance. And then we have the Hierophant here. Where I feel like in the past, someone could have had commitment issues, could have been a Taurus. Someone also could have been like a manager or is a manager, has a business or something like that. And it's like um, this person or you, um, again, they have issues opening up. See, let go of control issues. Could be a Taurus as well. Someone you're, um, that's married, you could be married to this person. You know, there's still pain here. It's like you might have had to kind of break their heart to get them to um, open their heart. So Aries for June 2022 on last shuffle. And uh, I feel like this is um, a very intimate connection here. You know, it's you guys get along very well in the bedroom. Um, but it could get very toxic quickly because of the attraction 
and the amount of love and passion that you guys have for each other. So you guys need to love yourselves first. Um, I feel like you guys are getting to know each other. You know, because eventually toxic relationships, um, once after you hit all this fighting and fighting and fighting, eventually it gets to this point where you stop fighting. And then it just becomes fun and you guys are like laughing a lot. But that's if you guys could get to that point. I mean, how toxic is toxic, right? Um, see, children, I feel like this could be a childhood sweetheart or someone that it's like um, your child self is uh, affected by this person, you know, and this could have been a catalyst for your spirituality and for your um, healing childhood wounds and traumas. Uh, some of you guys could have kids with this person, wanting kids with them. Um you know, you could be having, you have kids in general, maybe uh, the kids don't belong, you know, it's like you guys don't share the kids, it's like your kids, and that could be an issue, like, you know, co-parenting on the side, but I feel like express your love, release your ex, you know, forget how things used to be, if it's a past person coming back, or a new person, you know, give this person a chance, because on this person's side, flirt and new love, you know, you may be, this may be a brand new person flirting with you, you may see them as a flirt, but I feel like, no, that's that's just a game they play, you know, to try to draw you in. I feel like they're not a flirt. They just like flirting with you. And with that two of cups, four of pentacles, you could be kind of holding back. You're not sure if this is, you know, and your childhood self could be really blocking this connection here where you're not wanting to uh, pursue it because of your ex, maybe. And just keep an open mind. You know, just understand you do deserve love, whether it's a new person coming back brand new and new energy trying to flirt with you and be lighthearted um, so that there could be romantic feelings or it's see reconciliation or it's a, a new person coming in flirting with you that's helping you reconcile with yourself you know that catalyst to connect back with your soul back with your inner child so past life relationship and this is someone that you have known before you know there could just be misunderstandings due to the way that you guys were brought up so take it however it is you can relate, guys. If it's a new person with that Ace of Swords, it looks like you can take it seriously. If it's a past person coming back brand new, I feel like, you know, um, this is someone here that, you know, they, they really do care about you. Um, they want something serious. So uh, can Aries trust that this person will not do them dirty? Well, I got the King of Cups. So that's an instant yes. With the Ten of Pentacles right there. Yes. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but no, for real. Um, you know, uh, that's, yeah, that's the end all be all. That's success, stability. If you were broke with another person, you're not going to be broke with this one. That's abundance right there. So, um, all right, guys, I'm going to go and close it out there. If this resonates with you, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.